Oh, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm okay. Yeah? Yeah. Not too bad. That's good. How about yourself? I'm good. Yeah? I just got done digging outside in my uh, storage shed. And oh? I was looking for some specific comic stuff. And I found one of the very specific things that I wanted. And not one of the other things I definitely wanted, but a whole other pile of stuff that's just ridiculous. Oh, like, really? I don't need, like, tons of comics, but I found a bunch of my old artwork, a bunch of stuff I haven't seen in forever. So stuff like I want to show on the channels, like, oh, look at my old shit that I did here and there. And I just, so my counter in my kitchen is just piled up with shit that I had my kids help me bring in. And it's not like my art room that I'm in right now is already overloaded with stuff as it is yeah so i'm just just kind of crazy like that well, that's kind of exciting though you found all that stuff yeah found a bunch of fun stuff to show off you gonna do that tonight or you're for an extra ex different video just for a different video eventually yeah like See this thing right here? Oh, yeah. So if it looks like it's a mountaintop and there's like a guy, his head in a cloak, his hand extended out. I did this in the paint program. You know, on old computers, like the old paint program. Oh, I sure do. I did. I drew this with a mouse at wow. work. Not Home Depot, another job. Just tracing these shapes and doing this, like all these colors and stuff. And then I got another version that I found that. It's like I put a, 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 like a night sky in the background. So I'm like, see, I do digital artwork once. That's pretty sweet, actually. It was pretty fun. But yeah, I found just a massive pile of crazy stuff. And I'm like, all right, I got I to gotta start filtering stuff out. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, that's what I was doing. And I was like, God, I've only got like 15 minutes before we're supposed to do this live. So I come in here, organize it a bit, sit here looking at some of it. I'm like, oh, shit, it's time to do this. Yeah, I know. I, yeah, I know. I was kind of running around. I don't, didn't know what to, what to draw. So I'm just going to maybe put some ink over this and see how it looks. Not real ink, just my Micron pens, which since my daughter used my, them, I cannot find all of them. I only have two. So we'll just we'll just go with it. Let's go with it. Lurking Crass Zero says both of you are very talented. Thank you. And Cat Be Weird says, "Holy crap! How is you guys art so good?" Thank you. That's very kind of you. Yes, it was. Especially to me, because we all know Rob's the talented one on this channel. I don't know about that, but. I think we do. Sounds like you had a productive Saturday then. Oh, kind of. Um, did some shopping, took the kids out with me to go do some shopping and stuff and just like grocery stop shopping. And yeah, I'm like, I got to go dig it now that the weather's nice. Yeah. It is nice. It's been really nice. In fact, it's been so warm in here. I've had to turn on a couple of fans. I haven't brought myself to turn the air conditioning on yet. My air conditioning is definitely on. <laughs> I'm a loser like that. Um, yeah, that's... Uh, I uh, also went shopping today, not grocery shopping. Actually went clothes shopping, which is not something I do very often, truthfully. Really? Yeah, I don't. You're always uh, the fashion and shit, like artsy and creative. And, I don't know. You know, I kind of feel like more I'm into like jewelry and hair and makeup, but I uh, and I don't even do makeup that much anymore, but clothes i kind of feel like i'm never wearing what's in style ever <laughs> i 
uh, Lurking Crass Zero says, are you comic book artists? I mean, I draw comic books, but I am not a professional anything. I just do them like for myself kind of on my own. So, I mean, I call, I call myself a comic book artist and he's a I comic book artist. We have been paid for a job for real for one, one time, but it's not like I work for Marvel or DC or anything like that. I'm just trying to frame it in, in contextually. So I don't like oversell it, but you know, and Jessica is just a good artist. She's not a specifically a comic book artist, but she's a, a, a student of all types of art, right? I'm not trying to speak for you, but I guess I just did. You're welcome to speak for me. And I would say that is pretty, pretty accurate. Yes. Uh, um, I truthfully am not a yeah. comic book artist. Cat Be Weird says, are an artist personally. You are wrong. Both of you are amazing. Well, thank you. Appreciate that. That's really kind. There's Nathan Judd. He says, morning, guys. Jess is dripped out. I'm not sure what that means. So sh he's talking about clothing. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm so... Drip is re referencing... I only know this because my children say drip and drippy all the time. Is referencing clothes. Um, yeah, I am now, I guess, because I went shopping, although I didn't buy as much. I ended up buying my daughter some stuff and... Yeah, kind of. <laughs> That's kind of how it always goes, though. Right. So. <laughs> Sean T says, damn it, I thought Rob was a used car salesman. I misunderstood the channel. <laughs> Hilarious. That's funny. Right. Can you hear, like, a fan blowing in the background? Of I've got a little fan blowing. Is it, like, bad audio? Can you hear... Um, I don't think it's bad audio. I can't hear it though, but I I don't mind it's it. Not like ruining anything. I personally don't think so. But if anybody else does, you can comment. If it's making it difficult to hear, please tell Rob that he's ruining the live again. Oh my goodness! You are not. Be kind to yourself. Be kind. Yeah. There's Mr. J Ultra. Hello, Mr. J Ultra. Mm. Saw a few more join the Discord channel today. Yeah, I put up a link again because um, I did a live last night and I had kind of a productive, fun conversation with a bunch of people, mostly new people. Oh, uh, cool. A uh, couple people never heard of before. I think D-Man was the only one who showed up, and he accidentally blocked someone that he shouldn't have. I'm like, dude, undo that. <laughs> like, Did he really? Yeah. This guy was just trying to correct what he said, and then D-Man thought he was, like, spamming, so he blocked him in. So I'm like, no, no, unblock that guy. And then he couldn't figure out how to do it. But um, when one guy was asking, like, do we have a Discord? And... Mm -hmm. uh, I was like, I do. I need to put up another link. So I did. And so that's probably where that come from. That's awesome. Yeah. But yeah, I just decided to just, just jump on last night just because I'm sitting here drawing and I'm like, oh, why not? You know? Yeah. I, uh, I don't know if you saw my post. I'm like only 100 subscribers away from 3,000. That is sick. So crazy. <laughs> it's so weird. That's awesome. I did vaguely see that post and I thought, wow, that's kind of crazy. It's funny how like the time it takes to get from like zero to a thousand was a forever. And then yeah. one to two much quicker and then two to three way quicker. So, you know, yeah, just, just working somehow. Yeah, doing great. Aren't awesome. you lucky to know me? I'm sorry, what? Aren't you just so glad and lucky that you know me? Now I that am I'm so, so glad and so lucky <laughs> to know you. <laughs> you are not wrong. Uh, you're sweet to humor my stupid egotistical humor. Uh, hey, it's JD. Is it JD? I don't remember if it's Jai Deep or J Deep. I always say J Deep. 
Hey, how's everybody doing? Doing pretty good. It's been a pretty chill Saturday for for me. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna. My husband and I are gonna watch the old uh, Fallout series tonight, or the start the first one. We did watch the next Shogun last night. Okay, so uh, when did you watch it? Last night. So what'd you think? Uh, kind of crazy. Um, I don't know if anybody's watching who hasn't seen it yet. Spoilers. I yeah, spoilers. To about it. <laughs> huh? Because I like, I want to talk to you about it. Oh my goodness! When his uh, counsel, I forget what his name is. Yeah. Oh, that scene, and was- then the whole time it was just like part of the plan yeah he's got to appear weak and defeated and so his best friend in the world goes that far yeah to uh you know help. Oh. i was like oh my god I, I thought something was up with that but i didn't expect it in that scene like i wasn't yeah. that i thought they were really going at it and then that actor that plays Tora naga like you could see the pain in his eyes like he had tears in his eyes and it's like I was like, well, he's doing it because he's sad because he's defeated and broken and this and that. But once you find out what was going on, those tears were something else. Yeah. You know, I'm like, holy shit, that's so good. And the best part is the way that act- that actor is just superb. I feel like he was like legitimately like, I don't know. It just seems so real. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, then the guy that's um, Mariko's husband. Yes. That had to be the second on the 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 guy. Um I can't decide if I I I, I used to think he was supposed to be like a scummy guy we don't like. And yeah. he's not perfect, but I feel like there's more to that character. Like he's not just a piece of shit we're supposed to hate. Right. I, they're making you kind of have this like turmoil about how you feel about him. Yeah. Like, he's been kind of not awesome, but I feel like his pain is really coming through. And, like, that actor's really trying. He's really going for it. So, Yes. Yes, like, absolutely. Yeah, And I was kind of saying the same thing about that actress that plays Mariko. Like, she has to play this character that's in a very specific time, in a very specific culture. She's not allowed to be emotional. The actress is portraying the pain inside with just subtle looks, subtle voice things. Like, you know, oh, she's know. so tormented, but she can't outwardly show it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, I just think everybody just just nails their parts to me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Jerry Hall says, hello from, from Virginia. Hello. Virginia. There's Dan Goodwin. What's up, brother? Anton. Is it Anton? Anton. Tony? Anton. Antoine. Where is Chat? Antoine. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Cheers. Um, Sean T says, Jess, the hand on your drawing looks really damn good. I agree. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I am. Trying to work on hands and feet more. Because it's definitely a difficult area for me. So Yeah. Appreciate that. Hey, can anybody in the chat I just I, I was checking with Jessica, but like I've got a fan blowing in the background. Is it is it overwhelming? Is it kind of ruining things? Um if it's making the audio kind of bad, I'd, I'd like to know. I can shut it off, but it's kind of warm and so I've just got it blowing to keep me cool, but is it is it ruining the audio for anybody? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, I can hear it, but I, I don't feel like it's ruining it. If that makes any sense? Okay, all right. Myself. Sean T says the audio is fine, so that's that's two affirmatives. Yeah. Tyres Brunson in the house. What's up? 
I love him. He sends me music videos to listen to on Instagram. He's actually introduced me to um, a new artist I really liked. Oh, really? So, yeah. He's... People message you about all kinds of shit. No one messages me. I don't stop it. I'm almost at 3,000 3, yeah, that's, subscribers. That's not messaging me like privately to be like, hey, this, that, the other. So I, I message you privately. Whatever. I don't care about you. Oh, <laughs> Shit. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah. Yeah. The don't... truth comes out. It does. It comes right out. Real nice. Really appreciate that. Just kidding. I don't appreciate that at all. You're actually um, like the friend. I know we've said this before, but I've got a couple of people in my life that I consider my best friends and it's hard to nail down. Like I can't ever say this one person is my best friend out of above everyone else. You know what I mean? Right. I three or four that I would say fall in that category. Like yeah. Bobby, Danielle, my roommate, and then a couple of my buddies, you know, Dan and Cody, but you are the one I speak to by far the most. Like, in, in, the, in just like just the messaging thing, like you and I just chit chat back and forth way more than I communicate with anybody outside of the roommate. But you know what I mean? Cause she lives here. But. Yeah, no, uh, I would say that's, I mean, I, you know, I've got the people in my house that I talk to all the time, but I would say that's true for you, except for one person. <laughs> and that would be my sister-in-law. Right. I talk to her uh, quite frequently. But she also says I'm her therapist, so I don't know. You're that good. Gives you at that. that gives you an idea of what our conversations are like. <laughs> <laughs> so, there is that. Um, he says, "Dude, I do send you stuff on Instagram." LOL. So, are are you talking to Rob? Is Rob just ignoring your messages? Wow. Jessica will take any opportunity to throw me right under the bus. And maybe I'm I just... mean, I'm just trying to figure out. I mean, it sounds like that's what's going on here. Like we're trying to figure out if you're full of shit, Rob. Exactly. And all signs point to yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's like you're just making this shit up. It's just drama queen, and I'm kind of sick of your shit. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're here to keep me straight. <laughs> you know how I do. Daniel oh, Goodwin says he, he says I need the therapist. I need a therapist. <laughs> well, we're here for you, Dan. Uh, yes. Let the Tyrus healing says begin. yes. He says, "LOL, yes." He hates me. Wow. Wow. You need to like change that perception of yourself or you're not going to get many more subscribers. Probably right. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Oh boy. See, so you're drawing your big explosion scene here. Yeah. Yes. Right. It's kind of a easy-ish thing to do. <laughs> Shanti says, Rob is like when your girl gets dressed up for a party and then complains that she's fat and no one loves her. That's true. That, that, <laughs> is, <laughs> that was perfect. That is that yes. Is, yes. Uh, Jessica loved that one. That was perfect. Uh, uh, Mark said, Rob, did you try being cuter? I you know that's I can't out cute Jessica, so I'm not gonna try. Oh, stop! You stop! You stop yourself I, right now. Without a poll of who's cuter, me or you, I think pretty much everybody would be like, "Yeah, Rob, we're all a bunch of dudes, so by default, most of us are gonna be like, we kind of think Jessica's cuter than you, Rob." You don't know what they're into. That's uh, very all right, fellas. We're putting out a poll: who's cuter? And, you know, what happens when you assume things? 
talk about my ass. <laughs> yes. Uh, deliver us Kirk Cobain. Yes, I am putting my ink on this and I'm not sure if this was a smart idea if I should have left it, but we are where we are. I was going to say, I thought you decided that you wanted to leave it as it was. Well, I undecided because I didn't have anything else to do for this. So like, apparently Rob, I decided otherwise. Yeah. But I mean, if it turns out badly, I'll just redraw it. But will you, though? I might. I actually oh. pretty a lot of fun with this. No, it look, looks. I was going to say it looked. It looks really good. You're like, but now that you've done what you've done, I agree. Now that you've fucked it up. Worst decision you've made. I doubt that's the case. Okay. Um, we've got some people coming in. Dan says, I'm going to vote on myself for being cuter. Fair. <laughs> Tyrus says, Jess is cute. Rob, you are semi-handsome. I'll take it. It's That's more <laughs> than I usually get. <laughs> oh my gosh, that cracks me up. You guys complete me. <laughs> Antoine, he's like, pretty girls are a dime a dozen. I'm all about that Norton goodness. There we go. Represent. There we go. And the truth comes out. Truth shall set me free. It's true. There's no one like you, you know? Yes. Stop guessing about things. <laughs> Sean T says, forget who is cuter. Who eats less on a date? That much is more important. Um, honestly, I don't know. You've been on your diet, and I eat a shit ton of food, so. <laughs> I'm on my carnivore diet. I'm down yeah. um, 16. That's really good. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going. So, like, I've had to, like, pull my belt tighter practically two notches. <laughs> Well, I don't mean to outdo you here, but I went shopping today and I got to go a size down in my pants. Hell yeah. So size twos instead of threes. Down your pants. Down my pants. That's right. You heard it here. I, like trying to find a way to make that f sound funnier, but I can't come up with anything. So Yeah, I know. <laughs> Rob, just stop. Just stop. <laughs> Jess is going to kill your wallet. Amen. I will indeed ask my husband. <laughs> ask, ask my husband. I'm sure he's down there right now going like, God damn that woman. <laughs> he knows. He, he will get something off the dollar menu someplace. And I'll be like, Mm, I'm not gonna eat that. I need this and I need that. So I'm to get some quality shit. Mm hmm What would you say is your favorite place to eat, speaking of which? Let's say if it's some place that has a drive thru. Some place that has a drive thru. Like so it could be like it just even any like cheap old place. Yeah. I'm like I get that there's probably like a ton of sit down places, but I just right. mean like um, honestly, I, for like cheap food that I would go to all the time is like Del Taco because just those simple, cheap, like snack, crunchy snack tacos, it's just meat, cheese and lettuce in a shell and you can have, you can eat them in like two bites. Just something about those, mm -hmm. especially if the shell is like, like fresh and not like stale. Something mm -hmm. about it, it just, I just like, it's so tasty. And that's a really like basic thing, but I could do Del Taco like, in fact, I did. I would go to Del Taco for lunch every day. I haven't gone since, you know, in a month since I've been on my carnivore diet. But Right. That's, uh, I like Del Taco too. That wouldn't be my first choice though. It would not I, be? I don't think so, no. 
what would be? <sighs> That's a good question. Arby's has some good shit. But see, here's my problem. See, this is my husband's problem is you're talking about Arby's, talking about Del Taco. And then here in my mind, I'm thinking like, oh, I go to like Smash Burger. Yeah. Or, you know, <laughs> someplace like that, I think, if I could. But I don't eat Arby's very often. It's been a long time since I've had Arby's. Yeah. I mean, I did have Panda Express last night, so. Antoine says, uh, I'm trying a similar diet, trying to get down to 200. Yeah, I would love to be down to 200. I, don't, I mean, I'm a tall guy, so I don't know. I don't know what a healthy weight for a guy that's 6'3 would be, but 200 would be like, honestly, at my peak weight, I've been double 200. And uh, I am not that anymore, but I'm still trying to get back down. But uh, Shanti says, her poor husband working three gig side jobs in order to afford Jess crushing the menu. <laughs> Hell yes. I know. It's true. I'm not even going to pretend like it's not. It's true. Uh, I went to a full blown sushi place for my birthday and that's where I wanted to go. And it was not cheap. It was like a hundred bucks. And I <laughs> ate like three rolls. I ate three massive rolls of sushi. I had pot stickers yeah, you like have to get a picture of some of that stuff. It looked amazing. Oh, man. Oh, I had Dragon's Breath was the name of the roll, my first roll. It was massive, but it was so good. I can just smash sushi like nothing else. Yeah. Which is That's terrible because it's not, not cheap. So, right. Of course. Like, I could devour this shit easy. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. It's true. Blossom Dragon says, can I join the live? Um, well, I mean, no, because one, we can only do two at a time. And two, we don't know you. I mean, you'd have to kick me out of the live. But maybe that's the point. Maybe they're getting but tired of me. They want me gone. <laughs> Justin <laughs> says, six three, good God, man. Harlem Globetrotter much? Yeah, my whole family's full of tall folk. We're all tall. So, and Jessica's like practically a hobbit. Oh my gosh. I'm actually only a few inches away from being legally having dwarfism. <laughs> you were offended, then you're like validated. You're like, oh my God, that's so rude. Actually, I'm almost <laughs> like almost a dwarf. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> Four foot, 11, three quarters. You're correct. Oh. Uh, my dad, when I was a, a younger, he, we had a friend of our family who uh, was a physician. And she goes, actually, she said, I think if I get you in and make sure to like get you like measured and everything, um, on the books, I could get you um, a scholarship to college because of your height. Because you're short, you get a ride to college? Uh, I didn't do it because I was like, that's well, stupid. I don't know. I, I felt that was like stupid. But I was like, is that a thing? Like for reals? I guess so. Well. But no, I did not do that. Uh, Shanti says, I've been, in, I've become addicted to Chipotle. You can get a protein, rice, and lettuce, simple and reasonably low calorie, sort of healthy. Oh, yeah. I like that idea. Yeah. And see, I will say this. I make a lot of tacos at home, like all the time. That's usually what my fam I make my family. We have tacos. We just pack it with lettuce, ground beef, or grilled chicken, cheese, tomatoes, avocado. Shut up, I'm starving over here. That sounds so good right now. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Man. I'm sorry. sorry. I got to go eat some ground beef and some eggs or something like that for dinner. And I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. I mean, actually, we just eat shit over here all the time. That's what I meant to say. I know. Um, art question. Sean T says, Rob, what's the technique trick you're doing with those trees? So, um, 
you get an old shit brush where the tips are all frayed and forked and it doesn't become useless because it doesn't hold a point anymore. It becomes useful in an entirely different way. And uh, for those of you, I mean, I'm going to be disappointed if those of you who don't know who Bob Ross is, the painter who does the happy little trees with the Afro and all that shit. Um, I, just I will watched- just not never speak to you again. If you don't know who Bob Ross is. Right. But I would watch the way he would paint his trees with his oil paints. And I just kind of started trying to adapt a similar kind of technique, like dabbing. And it's just kind of a matter of just finding the right amount of ink on your brush to give it kind of a fade. And you just start working it in. And uh, I refer to it as implied detail. It's kind of just a bunch of dabs of ink. But at a distance, it kind of works. You know, It, it sells the idea of what you're doing. So <laughs> Antoine Dennis is like, I know what I'm having for dinner now. I've got all the stuff for tacos. See, now it's like, that's fun. It's great. And even if I don't make shells from scratch, like the tortilla shells, I will take the store-bought ones and throw them in a pan so that they are taste more like fresh instead of just heat, like having them cold. Yeah. There you go. Um, but I was going to go back to this whole, uh, scenery you're doing. I love a while back. You were talking about how you, this was probably years ago to be fair, but you were talking about, Oh, I wish I could do more scenery. I'm going to practice trees and things. And I don't know if you remember this or not. And you're kind of acted like, and eh, I like, suck at this stuff. And I'm like looking at this now. And some of your scenery scenes in your books are some of my favorite things you've ever done. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It's it's sometimes it's like you, you try a thing and you practice and you practice and it's not working. And then suddenly you stumble upon something that works and you're like, oh, wait, 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 hold up. Wait, stop. Wait, wait. look, it's kind of working. So then you just keep fiddling. Mm-hmm. And you're lucky you know you kind of find a thing that works so yep. and it's, it's i kind of like you know it's like like bob ross it's like it's kind of like painting I, I don't think of it as like traditional inking because i'm dabbing with the br- but it's just inking but sometimes i'm like i'm I'm, try- I'm approaching it with more of a painterly i don't know. I'm yeah full of myself but no for sure I sh- I personally think you would be a great painter, but I know you just don't believe me. But I just I don't I'm not good with color. I just I can't see it. I don't understand it. So you know what? Um, speaking of which, uh, color I almost did tonight, but I would have to go through and find the right colors and then mix them, and I didn't want to do all that is I've never finished this and I've decided I'm going to do it for my area down here. And it's this, this one. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. Who's the artist now? (laughs) I wanted to finish this so bad and I got stuck and I found it the other day when I was cleaning out my art and I thought I am going to finish this damn painting and put it up on, on my wall. But I've got to find the colors and stuff for it. That's really good. That looks like real artwork to me. Oh, thank you. Um, Tyrus says, Rob is making wicked trees. Yeah, Shanti says, that is clever. Reads like trees. Nice. <laughs> uh, Antoine says, Robert Fawcett loved using old brushes. He says, that's when they get in. <laughs> so... That's uh, that's yeah, that's it's true. They become uh, they they suddenly become something different, and you can't really force them to be old dead brushes. You have to let them naturally become old dead brushes, and then you know, then it gets interesting. And I got a whole like cup of these things sitting off to the side of just I've, I've shown this a few times, but I've got this this whole collection of shit <laughs> just. Ready for use at any moment for whatever the hell. I think that's sweet that you're repurposing them and making sure they still get used because I've known a lot of people who just, oh, they just toss their brushes once they start to 
to be like that. Yeah. I do get to a point where I've got too goddamn many of these things. I gotta like Yeah. <laughs> tossing some of them. Jeff Small, there you are, brother. Says I love your scenery and your wide shots too. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Tyra says, please tell me about your fucking golf shoes. <laughs> what is that in reference to? <laughs> that is reference to the painting that I just put up. Oh, 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 okay. All right. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Right. That is awesome. I believe that is from Fear and Loving in Las Vegas, which I need to rewatch that movie because it's probably been a good eight, maybe 10 years since I've watched it. I have never seen it. It's a, I definitely, um, spent a lot of time watching it when I participate in certain activities. It's a great movie for that. What and, could that be? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, Jessica Parties. Yes, it was a great movie. I just, I have so many lovely memories of just fun times watching it. And that movie it was just great. And I love Johnny Depp, which could be controversial right now, but oh well. I don't think so. I feel like people are on board with him. I feel like he was getting screwed over by that psychotic woman he was married to. And I feel like he kind of proved himself in court. I was like, all right. Yeah, same. Samesy, samesy. Uh, Tyree says, yes, hello, Johnny Depp is the man. Wow, Rob, that is looking so good. I can't see on the on my phone, but then I look over at my computer to see the live, and I can see the rocks coming out and everything. Right, explosion in the distance, and love it. I really do. And they're gonna have the heroes down here, the four of them, little tiny guys. They're running away because they rescued the baby. They all did, and then they were. I feel like I don't know. I I, I want. I see different things in my story here because there were. Five guys and three girls on the heroic team. And mm -hmm. the main villain that they're facing off is a witch. It's a woman. And then she's got a guy, beast man, villain. And so I don't know if it's, it's like, once they rescued the baby that the witch captured to unleash hell um, and rescued it. Now, the, the, the girls actually, the good guy, the, the heroic girls on the team, Shira, Tila, and Eve. It was basically them that got the baby out of the witch's hands, but then they turn around and hand it to four men and say, hey, you guys take the baby back to their parents. You protect the child. We will stay and do the big heroic sh final thing. And I don't know. I was just kind of like, I didn't intend it to be anything specific, but I'm like, I just part of me is like, I kind of like the idea that they handed off the kid to of four of these big burly strong warrior men and, and like they trust them to get the kid to yeah them. you know like we put yeah. the child's life and they're all former villains and shira and tila were handing off this child to these former villains saying it's i'm giving this job to you get this kid back to their to his parents and so i was like oh i like that i kind of like where I went with that, like I'm blowing myself over here. Like, oh my god, it did this amazing thing. You are, but that's okay. <laughs> it is. It is a cool, cool idea. I, I like it. You are a really good writer. You're a good artist, but I do really think you are a good writer. Because you'll always say to me, "Oh, John's the writer." You've said that before in the past. I, I, I wasn't sure if you know I would be able to do this because I always felt like John was a better writer. Yeah. I think he specifically writes comedy better. Um, I can't, comedy's hard. I have no idea how to do it. <laughs> like I'll come up with shit that I think's funny, but it's only funny in that spur of the moment thing. Like when I try, I'm gonna sit down and write it down and put it into a scene. I'm like, uh, now it's dumb because it's, it sounds regurgitated. I don't know. Yeah. Mark says, Rob was really good at finding shadow shapes. Well, thank you. I appreciate that, man. Um, Jeff Small says, floating rocks in the blast is super cool. Uh, Adam Brooks says, Kurt Cobain. Hell yeah. Yep, yep. 
and four, like four men and a baby. It was basically it. Oh, and ultimately what's going to happen, that. spoilers, is that Can't one we... of the guys, Jitsu, he's going to run off and go do something else. And then eventually Fisto is going to have to go back and go back to the battle. So he's going to hand off the baby to Trapjaw, who's used to be the worst villain. But it's kind of like the culmination of his story arc in my thing here of him changing his becoming basically a hero. And he's kind of like one of the last ones you would expect to do that. But, mm. you know. Fist is trusting Trapjaw to be like, take the kid. I, they gave him to me. I'm going back to the battle. You need to take the kid. And uh, even Trapjaw's kind of shocked if they're like, they trust me to do this? So. That's great. I'm excited. I'm excited to read this, even though you've given away like everything. <laughs> you, you know how it's going to go. But I mean, when you actually get to read it, because I haven't worked out the dialogue specifically. So I know mm -hmm. that I'll get you and then in about six to seven months you'll read Shut it. Shut the fuck up. Tell me I'm wrong. You were not wrong and that's why I'm angry. <laughs> that's why I told you to <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, Jessica, you, you are son of a bitch. You son of a fuck. How dare you call me out like that? <laughs> we are not friends anymore. Just kidding. Adam Brooks says you should put Kirk in the He-Man world. Kurt Cobain? Uh, yeah. That would be interesting. Maybe his, like, ghost will show up. Because he's dead. Um, yeah. Some wise, you know, words of wisdom. To start having his ghost start spouting knowledge and it's just lyrics from his songs. Mm hmm That could work. He's like, Where did you sleep last night? He man's like that. <laughs> <laughs> he man's like, what does this have to do with anything? He's like, in the pines, in the pines, where the sun <laughs> don't ever shine. Damn, look at you. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is this crazy ghost talking about? Then the Ghostbusters show up and zap him into a trap. That would be a terrible... Don't do that to your story. <laughs> You're like, Rob, don't... <laughs> don't have the Ghostbusters catch Kurt Cobain. Wouldn't that be great? I don't know. Unless, you know, helps him, like, you know, bust some really evil... Ghost. With the ghost of Kurt Cobain being carrying around a shotgun. Mm. What if somehow his blunt is a weapon? <laughs> there you go. That's more realistic. All right, fair. Now the story must be written. So it shall be written, so it shall be done. I almost said that too. <laughs> so let it be written. Nice. I can hear my washing machine in the background, like rocking itself off its fucking brains. Wow. What's happening there? Likes to dance around when it's washing. That's nice. Right. Do you have an old school washer? I'm actually going to sit here and bend for a second. Do you have like one of the old school ones that has like a regular agitator in it? And you can put, like, pillows in it and just throw your shit in it. And if it goes off balance, it keeps going. No, mine's one of, the, like, the front loader ones that the the brother of the lady that I bought this house from, uh, when I was moving in, he was like, do you need a washer? I'm like, actually, I do. I was going to go buy one. He's like, I got a set that I was going to sell. I'll sell it to you for half the cost. I'm like, fuck yeah. So Nice. From them. I can't remember what I spent. It was like. I think it was only like 400 bucks for a washer and dryer. Oh, that's not bad at all. No. Especially a front loader. Yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know what they cost. I do. Um, 
I have one of the stupid, and I'm sorry, but I think they're terrible, digital ones or smart ones, I guess. Yeah. And it's, I didn't buy it. I rent, and it is what the rental. And you can't wash shit in it without having a problem. I feel like if I do anything that's not just your straight towels or regular clothes, if I want to wash pillows, if I want to wash a bigger comforter or something, it freaks out. It locks itself out. It will not let you. There's no mode for it. It won't let you wash half of the stuff that I used to be able to throw in washers just fine. I hate it. Beeps at my kids all night because they're downstairs with it. They have to come up and get me. I hate these ones. It doesn't have a real agitator in it, too. So I feel like clothes don't come out quite as clean. What's the brand? Um, hold on. I will tell you. <laughs> well, I didn't try to get her to get up and leave. The same brand as my stupid TVs that never work. Samsung. Samsung, right? <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, they're right. They're like right down here behind me. So that's why I was like, oh, hold on a second. I'll, I'll tell you. Um, yeah, I don't know. Antoine says, I've been looking at a new washer and dryer and I'm going to spend about fourteen to 1600 Yeah, that's the thing. You can really, because uh, I work at Home Depot. Jessica used to work at Home Depot. So we know like them shits can get way up there. Crazy. crazy pricey which is fine if there's something that's gonna last you know well here's the thing you, you think about this like i wonder if everyone's the same as me like my grandparents for example even my parents way back in the day they had the same washer and dryer and fridge forever mm -hmm. forever and then the shit these days it's done in a couple of years and I believe they engineer them that way because you don't go and buy a new machine if you make it so good that it never breaks so, like, engineered obsolescence. They make them cheap, so they break, so you have to go back and buy one, as opposed to the shit that are, like, my grandparents, again, they had the same machine for, I swear, three fucking decades. And it worked fine. Oh, easy, easy. I was the same way. Um, just even growing up, like, the what we got, we had, ours are from the 80s, and they, they were fine. <laughs> like, we didn't yeah. have to buy new ones. I think most of my childhood, we had the exact same ones. Same with like our, my fridge and stuff. Like it wasn't like, yeah. oh, these are going out all the time, you know. The fridge I've got at this place, it came with the house. It's a KitchenAid. I think it's from mm -hmm. like 91. It works fucking astounding. Like the ice maker works like a fucking champ. Like it just blows ice out nonstop. And whenever wow. I worked at, in appliances at Home Depot, the biggest complaint people would have about their fridges, the first thing to go out is the ice maker. Ice maker, yeah. Yeah. But mine just like keeps pounding out ice nonstop. And so, and again, so it's pretty old. And it, and I'm like, I keep looking at fridges at work because they're doing a big sale. I'm like, I just kind of want one just because it looks nicer. But I'm like, I've got this old one that's just perfect. Why do I want to fuck with that? And it works fine. It just looks ugly. Mm hmm. Anton says, I don't know why they think I need internet for my washer dryer. They're letting the Chinese know about skid marks. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I guess I can understand a scenario of like needing Wi-Fi on your machine in that you can like set a time for it to automatically turn on. I And then you can monitor it. But I'm like, who needs that type of automation? Like, you just put your wash in and you fucking wash it. Right? Yeah, I don't. Personally, I don't get it. I would never use that. No. Yeah. It's like one of those things. It's like, oh, you can do this. But then ultimately, like, do you really need that? Yeah. The answer, no. I, up until like last year, still used headphones that had cords to them. I am not that type of person. <laughs> Oh, man, Shanti is hilarious. He's like, I just had a stegosaurus who lived under my cabinet and cleaned my clothes for me. And then quotations, it's a living. That's like a Flintstones reference, isn't it? It is a Flintstones oh, reference. Oh, my God. That's great. That's so funny. That is funny. Classic. 
Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Crazy, crazy times, crazy stuff. Crazy, crazy. Uh, speaking of Home Depot, guess where my mom just started working? Uh, Walmart? <laughs> no. Uh, she is working at Lowe's. Oh. I actually was going to say Lowe's. I'm like, that's too obvious. Yes, she's working at Lowe's. And guess what she's doing? Uh, service desk. No. Like you used to do. I did used to do. I was the best service desk associate. Yes. You know what? You could have just said you were. You were. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. Where is she working? Uh, she designs cabinets oh. for kitchens and bathrooms. She just, she got um, certified through finished her school. Not, she's not finished with school, but she got enough done that she was able to move into that role. And so she's pretty excited about it. And I mean, I told her to work at Home Depot, but she didn't listen to me. She went to Lowe's. And um, yeah, I your was. Uh, your parents are in Indiana, right? Yes, they are. Right. They are indeed. Oh, good for her. Does she like? Uh, she seems to. Today she said that she had no appointments or anything and she was bored. And so she sent me a design she just made <laughs> for her own house. She's like, look what I made. My like, mom, shouldn't you be working right now? <laughs> She's like, I have practice. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's a good point. I was telling her, I was like, you know what? I was like, I'll never forget the time. I really disappointed Rob. <sighs> because I tried to design a door myself. Yeah. And order it. Because nobody was there, to be fair. No one was there at the desk. Yeah. And <clears throat> I remember you came up to me. And you're like, did, did, did you do this? This order? And I'm like, yeah. You're like, well, it's wrong. <laughs> did, I, did that really happen? That really happened, yeah. I don't remember that. That sounds like I mean, something. you were nice. You weren't being mean. We were like, let me show you how to do it if this happens again. Because now I have to redo the whole door. And I was like, okay, I don't know. Now you, now you fucked it up. I had assumed I would, to be fair. But one of the managers, managers were like, didn't you? Weren't you back there? And haven't you done it before? And I said, I think I had like sat and maybe helped with a, a couple before and so I just thought oh I'll, I'll just do it Mark Domowitz asked a question of you Jessica did you ever pick any comics to read I have not yet so here's what's here's the deal I am in the middle of getting ready to do midterms for school and then I am reading um I'm an ARC reader for a book called Rush of Ra Ravens. So I have to have that book read soon. Um, once I'm done with all of that and get that out of the way, I plan on just doing like some comic book reading through the summer. So I, that's what I'm thinking. I've got people who've suggested comics, uh, mangas. So I'm not 100% sure what all. Um, well, I still I recommend to... Danger Girl. What? I still recommend Danger Girl. I think you'll love that. Yeah, and I'm going to try to get my hands on... So, um, Mark sent me a good link to read some online, which will be super uh, helpful since then I don't have to, you know, go buy a bunch of them. But, um, <clears throat> I think I am going to try to get my hands on some that aren't. Um, so I can, you know, read them in the car when we're camping and stuff. So right. yeah, Danger Girl is definitely one of them I have on the list that, and I've got a lot of people have told me to read Death Note. Um, I don't know. So I, that's a manga. And then, um, I might read Jujutsu Kaisen because that's just, I'm obsessed with it. And apparently 
Um, they have like three seasons ahead of what's out in the show. So then I can actually find out what the hell is going on. So Mark's asking, what's an arc reader? Um, so an arc reader is when <clears throat> somebody releases a novel and what they do, well, they don't release it. They have a novel. They want to have some bunch of reviews and everything on the day that they actually um, release it. They want reviews and and stuff up on like Goodreads and Amazon and all these places. So they will choose people to send either digital copies or actual copies to. Um, and I just put an application for this one particular book because I wanted to read it. It looked like something I would like. And I got chosen, but you, when you do so, you like sign an agreement, you will put a review up by the release date. So I have to have it read. Unless I what happens if you don't? You go to jail? No, but you know, you probably won't get chosen to read another, you know, pre-read another book from that particular right. person again. That's all. Uh, do they pay you? They don't. You just get a copy of the book. I actually then didn't even, I got a digital copy. Some people got sent packages with the paperback and then like stickers and all kinds of cool stuff, but I didn't get that. So, um, Nathan says jujitsu has the drip. Jess. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, speaking of drip, I am so obsessed for my birthday. I got a jujitsu present jacket and it has gojo on the back of course so speaking of that manlene car tower says dang i just subscribed the art is amazing well thank you i mean i feel like i'm not really in it to win it on this one tonight but i do feel like that page of yours is super dynamic it's truthfully so i love it well, I'm having fun with it. That's good. It looks like you are. <laughs> Muprasan says, ARC means advanced reader copy. Okay, now that's, I get that. I don't know what that's what, the, what that meant. Oh, yeah, I guess I could have said that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, is. I like, let's see, I, I missed it. Um, going back here. Uh, Mark's like, hey, Nathan Judd, were you the one on the stream last week? And Mar Nathan's like, yeah, that was that was me, accent and all. Yep. <laughs> yes, that was a fun watch, too. I didn't watch it while you were on, but I went and watched it the next day. It was, uh, we went international with the stream, so that was fun. Yeah, that was super sweet. Yeah. I thought super cool, super cool. How are you feeling with your uh, inking on your uh, drawing there? I mean, I'm just using a pen. I wish I had my other pens though. There are some of these things I wish I could just go and like put darker, thicker marks through. But I don't really want to. Is it coming along all right? I mean, are you happy with it so far? I can't decide. Like, I don't fucking know. It's true. I really don't at the moment. I'm like, oh, maybe. I don't know. It's looking good from my end. So Yes. Thank you, Nathan. That's what I was going to say. I don't have my brush pen. Or my one that's a brush tip. And I feel like I do need that. I do have actual ink. <laughs> And a brush. But do I want to put myself through that torture? I don't know. My man Chuck sent me a message. says he bought one of these Pentel pocket brush pens like I have. And he's like, oh. it flows really well. He's like, I'm really enjoying it. He's been doing some more traditional hand-drawn artwork, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, um, he got one of those pocket brush pens like I was just using. I just set it down. But he said he was pretty happy with it. Yeah. 
That's cool. This is not Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah. Although I love Matthew McConaughey, too. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Who doesn't like Matthew McConaughey? I don't know. I'm sure there's somebody. That person is not a friend of mine. <laughs> what if, like, your husband doesn't? He's like, fuck that guy. Oh, I know that's not true. One of his favorite movies is Interstellar. Oh, that's such a good show. Yep. I love that movie. Love it, love it, love it. Antoine's asking, have you ever used a brush to ink, Jessica? <sighs> yes. I'm using one now, by the way. Um, yes, I have. And it's funny because I am a really big painter. Like, I love painting. It's my one of my favorite. I don't look over my sketches unless somebody does it who's really good at it, like Rob. <laughs> because I always just somehow screw it up. You know. Uh, it says I froze. You did for a second. Maybe my internet's going. Maybe the world's ending. That could also be the case. Which, honestly, it's about time. Oh my gosh. Kind of morbid. Oh. It's just that I can it's see wrong. it coming. I'm like sick of waiting. Let's just get it over with. Uh, my husband hosts it, and it just moves into the apocalypse, and it's zombies. Right? At least we can handle that. <laughs> I told what? My, I I told my ex-wife. I I can't remember if I told you, but I like I discussed with her recently. I said, you know, if shit goes really bad like really bad ever for real. I'm like, there's only one thing in the world that matters to me, right? It's our kids. And most like they're good. They're going to be with you. So guess where I'm going to show up? Like I told, I said, I'm going to show up at your door. I'm, and I'm talking like world ending shit, which. So I'm like, think about that, Missy. No, oh, she's still frozen. All right. Now you're back. I worried with it being in the basement. But we've been going fine for an hour. It just only started, so I don't know. Well, let me know if it gets really bad. I can either try to rejoin or I am having them bring me a Wi-Fi extender just in case anyway. So I'll have that pretty soon. What did your wife, ex-wife say about that? Um, she was just kind of like, I think part of it was like, I mean, she understands. Cause I'm like, what do you say to that? I was like, and again, I'm talking like, movie type world ending scenario which you know like there's only one thing that matters it's my fucking children i'm not gonna go shack up with my brother or something like that like i'm gonna be with my kids if we're talking like powers out cell phones are out no one's going to their jobs like world ending type shit so i'm like mm -hmm. where else am i gonna be except right next to my children so you know factor that in guys and she's like no i understand you know in that scenario bygones are bygones and blah 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 interesting yeah. i don't know how that would work with my stepdaughter yeah i, I really don't i don't know if i mean like him and his ex are okay but I don't know if they're that okay. Yeah. 
well, fortunately, me and my kid's mom are on good terms. And it's one of those, like, you just better deal with the situation because I'm coming. Am I still breaking out pretty bad? No, you're fine to me. Okay. <laughs> Antoine's saying, when I worked at Home Depot, an older couple came in and, and were saying to me the world would end in six months, and then they bought some perennials for their garden. <laughs> they must have been, they were probably Dad doesn't make witnesses. Sense. He grew up. I'll say it anyway. I guess that's fair too. I guess anybody can say anything that's really. That's right. Moving on to this next um, panel, I see. Yeah, just kind of moving around because a lot of the ink is still wet, so I got to let it dry out. So that's what I what I say when I have multiple pages so I can move around to different panels or different pages while. Yeah. What will it take to get you to work on a remaster fan redraw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one to coincide with the 40th anniversary? <laughs> Like, what would it take to get me just to want to do it on my own? Um, nothing. I mean, it's not, it's not anything that's interesting to me. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the turtle. I have a turtle story in my head. But, um, I mean, I would I could do a page or something like that. But um, that would be fun, like a fun group project. Uh, not right at the moment, but a second. Can you hear me? Do you want to try and rejoin? Wrong. Do you want to try and rejoin? Oh, there she went. She gone. Yeah, Sean T, if you can still hear me. Um, I mean, like a fan project, like a group project, that would be a thing. When is the 40th anniversary? That's got to be real soon, right? Yeah, D-Man, Doomsday Preppers are on to something. Yeah, I mean, just saying, something's going to happen soon, and it's going to be messed up. There you are. Can you hear I me? I can hear you. All right. We'll see how this goes. I actually had some trouble actually joining, so. Was it being glitchy? Yeah, I think it's, I think I'm going to have to have the Wi-Fi center, which I kind of planned on. I just, just gonna, they got to bring it out to me and do all that stuff, so. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah. All right. D-Man, you want me to roast the Ripiverse? Well, as usual, I'd have to have the actual book in my hand, and I don't. Uh, one I feel of like D-Man always wants you to do that. I know. He's, he's very adamant that I do it. And I get it. I'd be, uh... I would be interested to, uh like see him but yeah i'm not exactly in a place where i'm like i'm gonna spend money on him fair enough although i guess i could i, I mean i do think about it i am at a point where i'm uh 
like making a few small dollars on YouTube. I could just basically fund that money. Nathan it is an investment. Yeah. Um, Nathan just says, don't do it. You don't want to mob after you. I mean, like, you know, I, I tried to be like, I'm not interested in like shitting on it just for the sake of shitting on it. But I would give my honest opinion the way I do about anything else. But, um, you know, I wouldn't, I'm not, I'm not interested in like personally attacking anybody. So, I mean, I would review them and be honest about it. I can't be a hypocrite, but, um, you know, I would say what I think about it, but. Yeah. Who knows? That's fair. Yeah. Would I be a hypocrite if somebody offered me money to review their books? Or no, it'd be a sellout. That's what would be the appropriate thing. I guess if they offered you money, but you reviewed it honestly, would yeah. that be a sellout? I guess. It depends if they're like, we want a, a positive review, even if I think it sucks. That would be the sellout part. Right. Don't get me wrong. It's not happened, but <laughs> I've had people ask me to review their books, but I've never had anybody offer me money to do it. Not not that I expect it or anything. It's just, I don't know, just an scenario. Nathan wants you to review his when it's out. All right. You know I will. You know I'll crap all over it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately happy to share, you know, people's work and get eyes on it. I mean, it's everything I ever wanted from anybody, you know, and now that, now that I can, I'll share it. I'll put it out there. He'll do it. <laughs> Nathan's like, I'm crying already. <laughs> That's so funny. I've heard his feelings and I haven't even seen it. <laughs> That's the effect you have on people, Rob. The effect you have. Oh boy, that's funny. Uh, do, 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 do. <sighs> How are you feeling about that? About what? I'm sorry. That panel that you're doing? Oh, it's uh, it's coming along. I was uh, just busting out this other page that I was working on last night. I did this lower panel right here on the stream yesterday. I was really excited. Oh, yeah. to and I really like how it came out. Yeah, it looks good. Then I just kind yeah. of started working on the other panels as I was doing it. Nice, nice. Very cool. <laughs> Nathan Judd's like, I watched your video the other day and you were like, I hate this picture. It's horrid. And he was like, oh, I kind of like that one. I mean, that's fair. Everyone's got likes and dislikes. Only difference is, is that my opinion is correct. Oh, gosh. <laughs> waiting to see what kind of sounds of disgust Jessica would put out <laughs> she's like oh my puke everyone unsubscribe from Rob immediately please <laughs> yeah I will completely understand if you just leave this live right now right we don't need that kind of nonsense coming from Rob he ain't all that it's true he's Thinks he's all that in a bag of chips. Shit. <laughs> Nathan's like, you wait, I'll make a response video. Hell yeah, we could have like a online feud. It would be my first. I need to have an online feud with somebody. Like we make videos about each other. <laughs> I'd have an online feud with somebody. Yeah. Then I'll know I've really made it. That is true. Right? That's how you know you've made it. 
you got beef with somebody, you know, or someone's got beef with you. Right. Hey, I told you that one time you're like, oh, this guy was saying some shit. And I'm like, well, that's how you know you're you're somebody is if you got haters. That That's true. I, I got to be honest, there's still a little bit of part of me that's like, it's still kind of like personally hurts my feelings. You know what I mean? It shit, yeah. but that's been who I am always in my life as like a shy nerd. And it's like, I don't let that get out, but there is that little part of me that's like, oh, that hurt my feelings. Everyone to love me. I actually do. I was never popular like you. I was not popular. We've had this conversation. I just think you're I a wasn't little... even... I was not. You can ask my family. Uh-oh. She's a robot again. Oh. You're back. Man, this sucks. Should have not moved to the basement until I had that extender. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're fine. Okay. I don't feel fine. <laughs> Tyras is like, we love you, Robert. Man, man hug. Thank you. Somebody finally gave me a hug. That was sweet. You know, I, he definitely needed. I've probably mentioned this before, but like I went to the store earlier today, and my youngest, mm -hmm. my youngest boy, he's nine years old. We, he still takes my hand and holds it as we walk into places. Like he'll reach, and he do, he takes my hand. Like he holds my hand like they did when they wow. were two or three or four. And he still does it. His older brother has long since stopped. And I get it. But my sweet little boy, just speaking of like manly affection. And I'm like, I even took a picture of like we were walking. He took my hand and I'm like, uh, I'm going to take a picture of this. I got to share this. It's like, it's so cute that he, he still does. It. That is cute. Gets daddy right in the feels. Yeah. Then you have me. I made a scene at the store at the mall today with my 13 year old daughter. So, did you yell at her? I didn't yell at her, but she and I had a very strong discussion. Uh -oh. And some lady was looking at me. I'm like, woman, back off. Like, I am in the middle of something clearly. Like, it was. It's fine now, but in the moment, you know, <sighs> she was like, oh, my hormones are so bad. I'm like, I guess I can remember what that was like. <laughs> uh huh. I guess that's fair. You know. Uh, Antoine Dennison says the brushwork is making that Cobain piece come along nicely, Jessica. You're giving it weight. Yeah, it's a good thing. Oh, I see. Okay, I you I didn't hear that whole oh. comment when you read it, and so now I'm going back to reading it. Okay, thank you, thank you. I'm glad, glad it's kind of coming along here. Definitely, definitely not. I need you. So what are you going to do without me for a week and a half, Rob? Cry. <laughs> yeah, where are you going again? Out of state for vacation or something? 
Yeah, I'm going to uh, visit my family in Indiana. Like for two weeks? Um, well, I won't be gone for two weeks. Um, I leave on the 19th. And then I will be back by the 28th. So are you taking your kids out of school? Yes, I am. Are you judging me? Yes, I am. A public education is the best thing you could possibly do for you. Well, there you go. No. Like gifted man gifted or what? It's a little spotty. I'm having issues here. I can hear you now. Uh, this is kind of um like academically gifted well that's good yeah so I think we're losing Jessica again. Yeah, I can hear you, but you can't hear me. I hear you now. I'm sorry. I just keep coming in and out. Kind of rough. Okay, now I can. You were saying it was definitely something? Yeah. That's frustrating. Supposedly they're going to come out this week and so I can have an extender down here. So you're not going to be available next Wednesday or? Next Wednesday. Thursday, sorry. Yeah, I should be able to do the one next uh, Thursday. But the Saturday after, negative. Okay. Well, I'll need somebody to join me on my live next Saturday. I yes. can you hear me? Oh my goodness, I cannot hear you. I'm here. Where are you? I'm here. Where have you gone? <laughs> okay. So yes, it will just be two two Thursdays and two Saturdays. <clears throat> Or not two Thursdays, one Thursday and two Saturdays. All righty. Well, I will plan accordingly. But I figure you will, I'm sure, find some fun people to do some lives with, as you do. I keep wanting to try, and, like, I've, I've kind of floated the idea to Bobby. I'm like, come join a live with me. And she's like, oh, God. Like, well, that's not very exciting. What? Uh, having Bobby do it. But I doubt she'd be particularly interested. I would have fun. 
me and her are kind of like you. We get along really well, so. Kind of surprises, but. Oh, damn. Look, Mark just floated as something. Thank you, Mr. Domowitz. Power I'm struggling with. <laughs> well, thanks, Mark. That's very, very generous of you. That uh, very rarely happens, so I'm very, uh, very uh, grateful anytime anybody. Still there, Jess? I am here. I just can't hear what you're saying very well. Uh, you are there. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree 100%. I don't know. Maybe Rob's saying something rude. I still back you. Uh, <laughs> so great. Oh, man. But yeah, Mark. Thank you, buddy. That's uh, very generous. Yeah, the Norton verse. Yeah, that's a that's a long ways to go before I'll have anything like that, fellas. Well, who knows, right? Maybe. I... Yeah, like my own universe of characters and comics and stuff. That would be fun. Mm. Maybe. You never know what to... <laughs> yeah, we'll see how things go with the channel and stuff like that. It, you know, it's not impossible to imagine anymore. Are you just using your bottle of ink and a, just a regular brush? Are you just using a bottle of ink and a brush? Little ink well that I made, it's just dirty as hell. Uh. I'm not as fancy as you. I know, I know. <sighs> Nope. I don't even know why you talk to me. I I don't either. <laughs> yeah, guys, we know Jessica's thing is laggy. It's been off and on. It seems to be getting worse. We don't understand why. Um, we know it kind of sucks. I understand why. <laughs> it was uh working so well. Yeah, I think it's. I think sometimes my internet gets kind of um, shitty. I moved to the basement, uh, and I think I think it's my internet because it says it's running fine, but I've I've been watching videos and stuff down here and had issues from time to time. I think there's just moments and hours, and it's just bad. So, Mark says, "Kick your kids off YouTube." No kidding. That's actually probably my husband gaming more likely than my children, though. Let's be real. He has been obsessed with RimWorld. I don't know if anybody plays that, but he's definitely, they, I guess there's been an expansion, and that's what he's been playing. And I could see that 
that could be possible that he's on the playing net. <laughs> Uh, Tyra says the ghost of Kurt is taking over your phone. That could be too. He's like, why the hell are you making me look like this? I looked way better than this when I was alive. Oh, I could see it. Just kidding. He would be way too nice to say something like that. Yeah, probably. He'd just be like, it looks... Pretty good. I'm going to write a song about it. Mm-hmm. Probably. Can you, uh, is my, is it pretty laggy still? Uh, for the moment, it seems fine. Okay. So I was saying, it just, it would go in and out and then it'd be fine for a stretch and then just suddenly drop off. And... Okay. Taking my kids to see that Kong Godzilla movie a second time tomorrow. Yeah. Well, they really did, and they seemed like they really just had a great time. So I asked them, like, would you guys want to go see it again? And the eyes both lit up. They're like, can we? Can we go again? I'm like, you bet your fucking ass. Let's go. <laughs> so at 10 o'clock in the morning. What's That's that? That's awesome. I just said I love you as a dad. Yeah. Well, again, again, the last time we went and saw it was the first time my oldest son asked me to ever take him to a movie ever. And um, yeah, now they're like, they liked it so much. They want to go again. Like, let's go. You know what? That's awesome. Let's go make some memories and daddy can spend movie money on a movie. That's fine. There you go. Take your, some of your money for Mark. Mr. Demon, I hate movies. We know, Demon. We know. <laughs> Juan Dennison asks, "Is the film any good?" Like, so, like my kids super loved it, and my roommate did, and so did I. We both were just super having. It's like kind of like a brain dead movie. It's kind of stupid, but it's silly and it's and it's fun. It's giant monster, giant monkey punch, giant lizard. It's fun. And uh, I'm I'm not going to see it a second time, like dreading it because it fucking sucked. But I'll do it for my kids. I'm not that good of a dad. Like if they wanted to see a movie and I absolutely am not interested in it, I'm not going to spend the money. But um, <laughs> that love has does have limits. But it was fun enough that I'm like I would go see it again. I wouldn't go see it again on my own. Like if it wasn't about no. my kids. But I liked it enough that the kids want to go see it again. I'm like, all right. So let's let's go see it. It's it's fun, especially when you see King Kong King Kong suplex Godzilla off the pyramids of Giza. Not exaggerating, that really happens. <laughs> it's for wow. real, like literally suplexes him off of it. Popcorn flick, yeah, hundred percent. But it's a good one, you know. It's worth it. It's not like some of the god awful shit that's been out in theaters. My dad loves those movies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for his birthday, I forget which one it was. Probably the one before this one. It was just Godzilla versus Kong. Okay, so it must have been that one. Yeah. Um, but he likes the Godzilla movies too. Um, without Kong in it. Um, he actually we had the whole theater to ourselves for his birthday, and the whole family like. Everybody and their kids and husbands and wives, all his kids and everything. We all went and uh, it was so fun. We just, we didn't have to worry about it. We could talk and chat during it because there's nobody else in the theater. I have that, that memory alone. I let, you know, have good, yeah, have good uh, emotions attached to that series. Right. That's awesome. Uh, 
Tyrez Brunson says, dude, they need to do a Pacific Rim Kong Godzilla crossover. I would watch the shit out of that. Get giant Me too. punch, giant monkey punch, giant lizard. Hell yeah. I would absolutely do that. Cheese. When I well, first was dating. Oh, Sorry, I was going to say cheesy chest is trying to remind us that Jesus loves us. Thank you. We understand. You don't need to tell us more than once. <laughs> He's already said it twice. Like, I get it. Thank you. I understood. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, I forget what I was going to say. I had something I was going to say, but. Talk about, I don't know, Kong, Godzilla. And... Oh, uh, Pacific Rim. Yeah. So my when I was dating my husband, my dad wanted to do something with him because, you know, they didn't know each other very well. And we were out there visiting and my brothers and my dad took him to see that movie. And they came home from watching that movie. Dun, 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 just kept, just kept going with the music anytime anything would happen they were obsessed with the music from that movie that's funny that's awesome <laughs> they just loved it so much like hell yeah that's another one that my uh my oldest son uh, a couple weeks ago he, he I, I i picked him up to get him for the weekend he's like dad can we watch pacific rim i'm like Sure. He's like, will you watch it with me? I'm like, you bet your fucking ass I'll sit down and watch Pacific Rim with you. Like, absolutely. You bet your little fucking little smart ass son that I will watch a movie with you anytime you ask me to. Because, again, these are like firsts, you know. Rarely does he ask me. He's like, Daddy, will you do this with me? I'm trying to make it a point. Not that it's like a struggle. It's easy to do. But like anytime he asks me to like, Dad, will you do this with me? Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> Nathan Judd's like, Vishnu loves you. And then somebody without a name says, Godzilla is indifferent towards you. <laughs> Which is true. P. Diddy loves you. P. Diddy loves you, right? I bet he does. Oh, P. Diddy. Isn't he in some uh, trouble right now? Didn't he flee the country or some shit? Is he? I think so. Oh, really? Pretty sure it was him. <laughs> Tyraz says Lucifer loves us all. That's probably true. Lucifer, the morning star. He loves our souls. Yeah, you're like, and Uh, have I tried calligraphy pen for sketching? I mean, not calligraphy pens. I do dip pens. Like I do things like this, but it's not exactly, it's not a calligraphy pen. It's a drawing pen. I have different versions of this. So... We'll wait a minute and see if Jessica comes back into existence with us here. 
There you are. Yeah. We're all sick of your shit anyway. I don't know if you can hear me or not. Okay, there you are. I was jokingly saying we're sick of your shit, but that's not true. That's a lie. Oh, I didn't even hear that. No, I was uh, telling you my husband's... Uh, I have a message from him saying that my two-year-old has punched him in the eye. Oh, well, you better go back <laughs> the fight. But so uh, I'll try to get this fixed. Um, I'll get a hold of my internet company and get it fixed, so... It's been fun. Love you all. <laughs> and I will see you next Thursday. Yep. You know I'll be there. Uh, I know you will. Looking good, I, by the way. I love it. Oh, thanks, Missy. Got those little... I can now see your little figures down there, too. I didn't see those before. Yeah, they were kind of hidden away in there, but... I got to have these little tiny figures observing the giant explosion in the background. And then the girls back there that were in the explosion, they're protected by a force field here. So badass. Your Good drawing work. is looking great. The inks are looking fantastic on it. Seriously. Thank you. I am. I am learning. One day I will. I will get it. All right. Well, peace out, everybody. Bye. Yeah, I think I'm going to jump off to everybody. Uh, I appreciate it. Uh, just about the uh, um, the two uh, two hour mark. Mark, you say you think my subscriber count jumped during this stream? Let let me let me check. It usually does on these. Um, it's kind of weird how much it can jump up there. Um, I was last I checked, I was basically only a hundred away from three thousand, which is crazy um yeah it's it's kind of hard to say but yeah um i can't tell until i look at the app specifically i've got on this phone i can't see it on my old shitty phone here but um yeah tyraz uh mark demon antoine i hope i'm saying your uh your name right dude um, all you guys and um, <laughs> biggest view count was with yeah it was with you Nathan it was but yeah these streams tend to uh, produce a lot of uh, sub subscribers it's really weird um, but um, D man I don't got no money to buy no characters I ain't a name once I'm a name once I have things being successful I'll I'll buy your characters from you D man I promise but I'm a nobody so. Um, and as a nobody, I got no money. Unless you want to sell them for pennies, then, then you got a deal. Oh, I am saying Antoine. Right, I'm saying it correctly. It's French. Okay. I mean, I thought that I was, but uh, I, I was worried that I'm fucking it up. You just every time I say it, you're just dying inside a little bit. All right, everybody, but I'm going to jump off. I'm going to go see if my kids are uh, still alive out there. <coughs> <laughs> excuse me try to entertain them for a little bit but um thanks everybody appreciate it very very much as always get this whole page on there yeah there was no ink on this page when i started so productive stream it's mostly done all right guys thanks <laughs>